Welcome gamers, Hazardor here, and today I'm bringing you a new series. In this series, I'm going to go over each operator in Rainbow Six Siege and tell you how to use it most effectively. If it goes well, I'll continue it, and if not, I'll end this series after a few episodes if it's not getting as much views, likes, and comments as I expected. I hope it does well, but let's get straight into it. Now this guy, Fuse, is my personal preference for the best attacker in the game. The best thing about him, no doubt, is the cluster charge. You can put this thing on walls, on rooftops, on barricades, on anything and it shoots grenades through the wall into the room the objective or wherever the enemies are now this can be very effective as you can imagine if a lot of enemies are camping in a room you put this bad boy on the wall and you shoot grenades through you can get double or even triple kills I got a lot of cheap kills through doing this and I pissed off a lot of people but I won a lot of rounds for the team by doing this and it's a very good way of clearing out a room before you actually go in it this operator is definitely at its best when you're pushing rooms that are really highly populated now for the Lodo I would recommend recommend you use the AK-12. There is an LMG you can use and a riot shield, but the AK-12 is such a good gun. I definitely recommend picking this out in the class. Me personally, I've shoved a suppressor and a red dot sight on the gun, just because it's a personal preference, but to be honest, I'd recommend you all put these attachments on the gun, because it makes it really, really good. The sidearm, that isn't really that important, but I use the PMM. And for the equipment, I definitely pick the stun grenade over the breach charge, simply because this operator isn't really meant for breaching massive walls and going on really hard, you know, all guns blazing attacks. With this operator, you make little holes, put your grenades through and then throw some stun grenades in there and you can be really sneaky like this. Don't expose yourself to the enemy, stay out of line sight and you'll be able to use this operator most effectively. Now I think the cluster charge is possibly becoming a bit overpowered because you're getting quite cheap kills and you're not even exposing yourself to the enemy. You have two of these, you can put them through walls and get loads of kills without even the enemy knowing you're there. These cluster charges are so good and I would even go as far as calling them overpowered but there's a very very good counter to this operator. The operator and the defender Jagger uses an active defense system that intercepts grenades before they detonate. So if you use this and you shoot it for a wall and Jagger's put a few sort of trophy systems and active defenses around, you won't be getting any kills because your grenades will be neutralized really quickly. So just be aware of that. Just because you use this class, it doesn't mean you're going to get loads of kills because if the enemy team is running the correct operator, they can counter you really quickly. But I'd say overall that Fuse is definitely one of the best attacking operators in the game. He's my personal favorite and I'd recommend using him. If you are having trouble attacking, use this guy, get some cheap kills, go really carefully, don't expose yourself to your enemy, equip yourself with an AK-12 and use the cluster grenades to your advantage. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe for more.